What's up everybody? Welcome back to Selenix Crypto. Good morning and, and welcome to this video in which I wanted to take a look at Rich Quack. Uh, Rich Quack or just Quack. Um, we'll call it Quack in this video. Um, wanted to take a look at it today because we, we've actually had qu quite a solid run again with, uh, with Rich Quack. I covered it as you can see um, like two, three weeks ago when it was very bullish. I covered it um, and then afterwards uh, and then afterwards, it's, it, it dropped down, which was ex expected, as you can see. We're going to zoom into the one hour time frame. Um, was quite, I mean, you can just check this out. This was my analysis. I'd say it was pretty um, pretty accurate, at least. But uh, let's delete that and, and let's take a look at what's happening now, obviously. So apart from that, Rich Quack is, um, I think, one of the most respected meme coins, at least for me. Um, volume is relatively low at 1.6 million. I mean, volume dropped down significantly, right? I mean, we, we had volumes of about 10 million, which for uh, which for Rich Quack was amazing. Uh, but then afterwards, we kind of were stuck between one and two million. That's that's not a whole lot. Not for meme tokens. Meme tokens usually have, have more volume than that. Um, but apart from that, as I said, Rich Quack, it is, uh, I think, one of the most safe. One of the most safe. Um, meme coins and, and I respect it quite a lot. Um, they're only, I mean, in the end, their only product is, an, uh, is, is, is a launch pad, which a lot of meme tokens create as, as their for first product. Uh, so I don't really count that, but apart from that, it has a, has a great community. So I just wanted to kind of check this out, see what's going on and see if we can actually get higher. So let's actually take a look at the price. Let's get right into that. Mm. The main thing also is, is that you can see that right here, I'll, I'll call this like two and 2.2 but in reality obviously it's like right now 1.88 would be like this like <laughs> i cannot even pronounce it but still um so before actually taking a look at the price let, let's also see twitter real quick oh you can actually get a decent tw uh, apr that's probably why this move happens all right that's that's all right that's that's quite good but that also seems too good to be true too, too good to be true where does that 28 percent apr come from i don't know but um all right i i don't really like that but obviously it's it's bullish for for quack holders people are buying it but right now for the price what you can see is that we found resistance at this major level at like 2.11 as i said that would be like 2100 right here um, we found resistance there. So now the, the obvious question is, is can we actually break through that and get to our resistance level at 2.4 and 2.5? Well, to me, that, that depends on this level right here at 1.8 and 1.85. We're going to find support there. If we can actually hold that level uh, for the next two days, then I think we can actually break above 2.1 uh, and get up, get up to that 2.4 level. Um, but that level to me really is important because what could also happen is that we'll find support there. Uh, it's all looking nice. And then we don't hold that for two days. If we break down below 1.8, it's over in my opinion. Then we'll just drop down to 1.7, probably consolidate there. I mean, it's, it's not going to be that we're going to have a crash, but afterwards drop down to this 1.6, 1.5 level as well. Um, so to me, it's, it's, it's really based on that level. I'd say, and this, this might be a little bit risky, but I actually think something like this, like the bullish scenario is a little bit more likely. Um, it depends on how that staking goes and if it's still possible to, to stake your stake your quack, but um, people are realizing it and, and then they want to want to join. As I said, it's, it's one of the most respected tokens, at least in my opinion. Uh, we can check it out real quick. Um, yeah, I'm not going to connect, but... Um, yeah, it's it's I don't know. It's uh, to me that seems like the most likely scenario. That's purely based on the move we got right now and on my experience in in tokens that have huge staking rewards. All right, but in the end, it it still is about the technicals and it still is there for about 1.85, 1.8. Can we hold that? Probably initially, yes. Can we hold that for two days? That's going to be the the, the more important question. Um, so yeah, and and the market will move depending on what happens there. I think at least. So that's my take on, on Rich Quack for now. If you do have any questions, let me know down in the comments. But for now, thank you for watching and listening and take care today. Bye.